Less teens are on the road than 20 year olds. Teens are busier and just have parents to drive them. Donna St. George, writer for Washington Post, writes that 30.7% of 16 year olds got their licenses in 2008 compared with 44.7% in 1988. Kids are used to being driven by their um, parents these days. A generation consumed device by Facebook, texting, Xbox, and iPods. They can connect with friends from their homes and getting licenses is time consuming. This means already less cars on the road and carpooling already occurs, especially when gas prices are high, which altogether reduces pollution. As, many, as my opponent said, teens only make up 14% of the population. Another solution to a better driver's education system would be to make it a requirement before graduating high school. All schools would implement a driver's education course that is mandatory. So to obtain your license, you must prove that you have completed the course and the correct number of behind the wheel driving hours. The course would be one semester long and include everything that students need to know about being a good driver, what to expect, and how to drive in certain road conditions. If you pass the class with an A, then you're able to take the driver's test. The school course can be an extension of the permit test and in either online classes or regular driver's education classes. A list of credible driving instructors can be given to students so that they can take behind the wheel hours outside of school as homework. For people who do not complete school and can, can take the driver's um, education licensing classes that they currently have now. For those students who fail these classes, they must retake the classes until they pass and are able to prove themselves. If students decide not to take the driver's test right after the class is finished, a one-year statute can be placed before they must retake classes or tests. Raising the driving age to 18 would not only stall the process of learning, but make it a more inconvenience when 18 year olds have to worry about college and jobs. By having a school course, driver education is easily installed into teenagers' lives, which makes it better and to learn and take responsibility. To conclude our position, the following points are important to keep the driving age at 16 years old. Teenagers from 16 to 19 have the same mindset, maturity levels, and irresponsibility. Even 18 and 19 year olds are considered very young. Men and the elderly are also the most, res most responsible for car accidents compared with adults and women. It is inexperience, not immaturity, that causes the dangers on the road. Teenagers have quick re quicker response times and faster reflexes to make quicker decisions. Allowing the driving age to begin at 16 years old gives teenagers the responsibility that is needed for their future. Beginning a law at 16 years old gives teens more responsibility and freedom for when they turn 18 and go to college. It prepares them. Raising the driving age to 18 would not significantly decrease road accidents, and strict laws have proven to reduce accidents due to teenagers. There are many disadvantages to raising the driving age, including losing the opportunity to learn for the future, getting a job would be more difficult, as well as commuting. Parents would have to have the hassle of driving teens everywhere when they are busy and old enough to do it themselves, and it affects big companies. Lastly, stronger and stricter provisions to the graduate driver's license program would decrease the number of accidents because teenagers would learn more and be more experienced in handling, handling dangerous situations.